Man, what a great lie. My ball sitting closely mown to the ground, no grass getting stuck between my ball and club face. Absolutely ideal conditions for power. And I bet a lot of you out there aren't so crazy about a tightly mown line like this. In fact, if you find your best ball striking days are at a lousy golf course with long grass where that ball sits up a little bit, I guarantee you're losing a lot of power in the mix. What I'm going to show you here are a couple tips to get more power with any club in your bag if you're striking that golf ball off the ground. Hybrid, fairywood, iron, into the green, more power's coming your way. First thing you have to do is you got to understand that you need to have a mentality where you're not worried about getting the golf ball off the ground. Even though these hybrids, and even fairywoods these days, are designed to get this golf ball effortlessly into the air, most golfers still have a situation where they're swinging too much up to get the golf ball off the ground. Every golf shot you hit, minus the driver, is going to have some degree of downward descent. Now before we get into the swing, let's talk about where this golf ball has to be in our stance. Ball position is actually really simple. Every shot you're hitting off the ground, play that ball one club head width inside your left heel. From here, you're going to stagger your right foot based on the club you have. So, short clubs, narrow stance, medium clubs, medium stance, long clubs, wide stance. Staggering your foot actually takes your angle of attack in shallows or steepens it based on the club you have. So, if you have a short club, that club's going to strike down a little more sharply. A narrow stance will help that. If you have a longer club, the wider stance will shallow that out, still allowing you to hit down, but not dig quite as much. So a lot of times you get this question about ball position. Forget about moving the ball back and forth. One club head inside the left heel, short, medium, and long. Once you have the ball position set, now we have to make sure that we're not lifting that golf ball in the air like we just talked about. And the best way to do that is with a drill that actually sets your feet in a pre-impact position, perfect for a downward strike. So take your setup, take your right toe, and get it even with your left shoe. From here, lift your right heel up and let that back knee come in just a little bit. Right now I feel like there's very little weight on my back foot, a lot of weight on my front foot. We call this a preset impact drill. From here, make some swings, make sure that back foot feels light as you strike down just a little bit. This is the impact position we want to be in, trusting the loft of the club to send the ball up in the air. Walk in, left foot down, right toe up, set the foot, and hit a few shots to get the sensation trusting the loft of the club. The second thing we often see is a player losing their posture, lifting their chest into the hit, again as a means to try and gain height. All good players are staying in their spine angle or actually getting a little bit shorter, chest going down, attacking. A great way to feel this is to make some practice swings, again starting from the left foot right toe drill, but go ahead and lift your chest up and hover that club head just a few inches above the turf. Make your back swing and then feel your chest attacking downward until that club head fits back into the ground. Now we have an attacking chest with an attacking foot position, again allowing the loft of the club to send the ball skyward. The final thing we have to do is we have to trust our divot and rehearse a proper divot as well. Again, you're looking for ball first, then turf contact with a slight downward angle of descent. So, imagine your ball sitting on a line and try and get that club head to pinch the turf slightly ahead of that line. If you put all these three drills together, I guarantee you'll have good ball then turf contact, trust the loft, ball's gonna fly right up towards the sky with very little effort. Left foot, right toe, chest diving, divot forward. As it relates to the shorter irons, this is really important. Most golfers are adding loft to their golf club through impact, again, as a means of trying to gain height. Well, if you have a golf club that already has a ton of loft on it, this club's not going to go anywhere. So a lot of golfers, when they get into that 8-iron, 9-iron wedge sandwich category, really lose a lot of distance. Keep in mind, every great striker of the golf ball is actually de-lofting the club face taking loft away through the hit. The leading edge digs and the loft actually strengthens. So in essence, when you're hitting shots, imagine turning your 8-iron into a 7-iron. Imagine turning your 9-iron into an 8-iron. By de-lofting the club, you'll use more than leading edge, create more compression on your golf ball, 
and get more distance out of those short clubs as well. So in summary, number one, let's make sure that we trust the loft on these golf clubs. Number two, left foot, right toe, get these feet in an attack mentality. Learn how to keep that chest staying down through the hit. Practice those divots, take away loft, hitting the golf ball off the ground, be no problem for you.